Hello and welcome to another installment of learningosx.com. Today we're going to pick up where we left off uh, recently with a uh, two brief tutorial on Spotlight. In the previous installment we went through the basics of using Spotlight and today we're going to just jump into uh, a little more advanced uh, usage of Spotlight. And what we're going to talk about today specifically is setting up your Spotlight uh, to show the uh, specific items that you want in the order that you want it. And that uh, can be accomplished through setting the Spotlight preferences in the preference pane. So we're just going to jump right into it. We'll bring up the Spotlight here and we'll start with the system preferences. As you can see I'm using system preferences to uh, I'm sorry, I'm using Spotlight to load the system preferences. And as you can see here on the right, the order that the return results are presented uh, starts with applications and leads down to, I have PowerPoint on here, uh, leads down to some presentations. So we're going to select System Preferences and we're going to click Spotlight. And as you can see here, we have a list of uh, results or I'm sorry, we have a list of categories. And these categories basically are the order, are in the order uh, through which they will appear in your search results. So back to the example, if we did Spotlight, as you can see, applications is first, presentations is last, and it corresponds to the order here. But suppose the most important thing you want to use Spotlight for is to return documents. What you can do is click on documents and actually drag and move the order which it returns. So we're going to say that all documents are the most important return results. So we're going to, oops, we're going to move that up and we're going to save it. So now when we query the results, you can see it changed to reflect the order that we set here. The other thing you can do is you can selectively turn on and off categories. So for example, suppose we're not really interested in using Spotlight to launch applications. We can remove that from our Spotlight search results. Same with system preferences. And in a later tutorial, I'll introduce you to Quicksilver uh, and show you why it's probably a good idea to leave these two items unchecked. So we will close down our system preferences. And that concludes our brief tutorial on customizing uh, Spotlight. If you have any additional uh, questions, please feel free to visit us at learningosx.com. Thanks.